In this video, I'm going to introduce you to how we draw using isometric paper. Okay? So, um, the whole idea is that if you ask me to draw a cuboid, so if I just draw any old cuboid like this, and then say, uh, let's say that that's three centimeters, that's five centimeters, and that is also three centimeters, okay? Then, although I've drawn a cuboid uh, with those dimensions, I haven't drawn it accurately. An isometric paper allows you to draw a shape like this to scale, okay? And it's done with dotty paper. So I'll just take note of the fact that I'm doing a 5 by 3 by 3 um, rectangle. I'm going to try and draw this on isometric paper. So isometric paper is this dotty type of paper. Um, and it's actually done out in hexagons. It may not immediately be obvious, but it's done out like hexagons. Okay, so in a hexagonal lattice shape. You could also see it as triangles. Okay. Now, there are specific ways of using isometric paper. There are rules to how you can draw using it. Any point in order to draw a line, so if I choose that point there, must then connect with a point that it is closest to, so within that hexagon. It can only, I can only draw a line through these points from that point at the centre. I'm not allowed to draw one to that point, or that point, or that point, so any point that is outside of that hexagon. So, a line such as this is not allowed. Okay? I can't draw from that point outside of the hexagon. If I was to draw a line, it must go through a point in the hexagon. Okay? So, that is really the key rule on how to use isometric paper. So I'm drawing this rectangle 5 by 3 by 3. So I'm going to start off by drawing the height of the shape. So it's 5 centimetres. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 5. So I'm going to take each one of these spaces to be a centimetre. So it's 5 down. Then it's 3 centimetres for its base. So, in order to draw from a point through, okay, I'm going to have to go one, two, three in that direction. And then it's by three again. So you can see what's happening. One, two, three. So that's the base, that's the height. And then you can start to fill in the rest of the dimensions. So from that corner it must be 5 high. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you can draw in the top edge. Okay, so that's one of the sides of my shape. 5 high from that point as well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Draw in that top edge, and then you can finish off the top, so 1, 2, 3, by 1, 2, 3. And there you can see I now have a 5 by 3 by 3 rectangle, and it is to scale. That's the key point here, so that when you're drawing these, and they need to be to scale. So that's what um, how you would draw 
using isometric paper, and you can draw some quite fancy items, don't you? Um, if I just rub that one out, and we just put a Google search on, okay, so then you look at other shapes that have been made, not that one. Uh, you can do quite interesting shapes. So, here's another one, for example, okay, that someone else has drawn. So, you can do all sorts of shapes on isometric paper, um, and this is one of the design ways of drawing, uh, making sure that the house is to scale, or a building, um, and this is uh, quite a nice way to represent a 3D image.